Good morning. I came to the University of Texas as a freshman in the fall of 1965, just one month after the signing of the Voting Rights Act and one year after the passage of the Civil Rights Act. Although many hearts and minds were not one, I, along with most progressives, thought the work of anti-racism was essentially over. How wrong we were. I have long known that racial prejudice still existed, but saw it only as individual acts. I have known that many black children are not succeeding in school, and many black adults are not earning a living wage. Yet it is only in the last few years that I have begun to understand what black people in this country know and live every day. Racism is embedded in our country in ways that laws do not touch. It permeates our culture. It is in our policies which determine how laws are interpreted. It is in our institutions, our banks, our businesses, our schools, our neighborhoods. It patrols our streets. Those who benefit think it normal, but it is not normal. Why do I want to participate in conversations about beloved community? Because I want your help seeing what I was reared not to see, what I was taught to ignore. In conversation with you as fellow travelers for justice, we can learn from the varying experiences and thoughts of each other and together discover ways to act to overcome white supremacy and move toward a beloved community. Will you please join me to discover where each of us finds racism most surprising and what can be done to make certain we are not still asking this question in 50 years? Thank you.